Hello, John Lab Pulse here, John B. I wanted to talk about my best garage sale score, like ever. And I told you before, I used I'd go auctions, garage sales, all morning, um, citywide. The wife, but she has a girlfriend at the time, but her birthday is always around. Or is on citywide. And I was going to take her to uh, Holiday World in Indiana. I was doing that for her birthday every year. I was going to her house. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. I was heading to her house. I think I'd probably already been out. Went to a few. But I was going. And there was this empty lot. And a van was sitting there. I was like, well, I could stop for a couple minutes. And I was looking, he had all his tables set out and stuff on them. I was like, how did he got all that in that van? I don't know, but it's a big van. But I went through, went through the table, and then I seen a pile. A pile of carded figures. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Are you, I can't believe it. Really, really, really. I was real nervous flipping through them. I didn't even, I couldn't even process what I was looking at. And I asked the guy, and I was like, wait, what do you want? What do you want for him? He was like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I countered. He was like, no, blah, blah, blah. And I countered again. He said, no, blah, blah, blah. And I said, good enough. I was like, I had money on me because I was going to a holiday world. I was like, I didn't want to spend a whole lot because I needed money for later. But I was like, I'm not passing up this deal. So I grabbed them up, went through them. There's 11 figures. I got a Return of the Jedi, Han, Big Head Han, 65 back, blacked out Ewoks. I got a... Stormtrooper, 65 back, blocked out Ewoks, Jedi card, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Return of the Jedi, 65 back, blocked out Ewoks, TIE Fighter Pilot, 65 back, Return of the Jedi, oh, unpunched. Let's see who else was unpunched. Stormtrooper was unpunched. Han was unpunched. Is unpunched. 65 back. Blacked out Ewoks. Biker Scout. Unpunched. 65 back. Blacked out Ewoks. R2-D2 with the sensor scope. Unpunched. 65 back. Blacked out Ewok. I put them in the sandwich bags. It's the best, cheapest way. I just started collecting. I was going to say this was like 2012. I don't think it was 11 because we had just met in June of 2011. So their birthday's in August. I'm thinking it's probably 12. Okay, we ready again? Uh, Bosch Leia. Unpunched. 65 back. Let's see. C-3PO. Return of the Jedi. Unpunched. 65 back. Blacked out, he walks. Chewbacca, unpunched, 65 back, blacked out Ewok. Darth Vader, I was punched, 65 back, and uh, blacked out Ewok. And then the best, 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 bestest, best, best. Bubba Fett, 
Unpunched. Return of the Jedi. Beautiful card. 65 back. Blocked out Ewok. And I said, I told the guy, I said, how much you want for him? And he said, he said, well, people think they have value, but I don't see it. And all I want is three, three bucks a piece. And I countered, I said, would you take them all for 20? He said, no, three bucks a piece. Would you take them all for 30? And he said, no, nope, three bucks a piece. And I was like, okay, count them up. There's 11 figures there. Got them for $33. I, myself, I was like, oh my God. Holy, bagged them up. Got the hell out of there. I wanted to take them home. I didn't want to take them clear to Indiana with me. So I ran them back, took them home. And I was like, that's all I could think about, you know. Then I was looking at them later. I just bagged them up. They were sitting in my room. I had nowhere to put them, display them yet. And I was looking on the back. I was looking at them up and down. I'd get them out and look at them every day. And I was looking at the back of C-3PO. And I was looking Stormtrooper. Got it. Han, got it. Bubba Fett, got him. Obi-Wan, got him. Darth Vader, got him. Chewbacca, got him. Return of the Jedi Luke, don't have him. Bosch Leia, got him. R2, got him. C-3PO, got him. TIE Fighter Pilot, got him. Da -da -da. Where's he at? Biker Scout got him. All these figures were circled, but I was missing the Return of the Je uh, Jedi Knight Luke. It's all there, and I I must have looked at them earlier. And I told my mom, I was like, I gotta go. Would you go back? I told her where it was. Go back and see if he had any more hit or stashed. Well. Didn't have any more. Okay, she went back. She said she went back and didn't have any more left. But I guess I told my uh, I told my story. My sis, I forgot to get it down. I don't even think. I don't want to try to reach it. She did get me one. Hold on a second. I must have said something to my sister. And then that following like that Christmas... Everybody got real quiet. Now let's let's watch John open. She got me a Return of the Jedi, unpunched. It's sixty five back, but no, no blacked out. Cause I wanted to keep them all sixty five backs. Jedi Luke. I was like, damn, that's awesome. I was like, I got the set now. It's beat. She said it was an auction. I think the buy it nows for a lot of them at the time were a hundred. I'm like, yeah, I think it's worth about 300 now, but I got the Jedi Luke to complete the set. <clears throat> and I'd love to have that signed, but you have to mail them all for Mark Hamill to sign them. But I didn't have no money in them. And the first, I hadn't even been to conventions yet. And like the first convention was in Evansville and Peter Mayhew was going to be there so I took my card in Chewbacca signed by Peter Mayhew. I had him sign it. There's a picture of us with him. So that was my first one. And then I think the next year uh, Jeremy Bullock was at uh, Lexington, Kentucky. I was like, I don't know if I should do it or not. And I took it and I had him sign it. Got a picture of Jeremy Bullock signing it. And I was like, holy crap, what have I done? I was like, did I ruin it? Because I knew the value. And, it, and I was like, man, what did I do? And the guy was in line. And he was looking to see what I had. Because I was just holding it like this, looking at it. And I was like, 
what do you think of that? And he's like, that's awesome. So I was like, yeah, I've done the right thing. And then the next day in Indianapolis, Carrie Fisher was doing a signing. And it was like a year before she died. So I got Carrie Fisher autographed, Bush Leia. I got a picture at the top of uh, Carrie Fisher's head while she was signing it. So I was lucky to sneak that, that one in. And then we was going on vacation. We was going to Orlando. And I, lo I used to look a lot on uh, celebrity, Star Wars celebrity appearances. And Anthony Daniels was going to be in Orlando the day we were supposed to get there. And I was like, we got to get to Orlando that day. And she, I was like, we'll see. Man. If we can, I'm like, I drove. And I drove it in there on two wheels. Got in, got tickets, got in line. First in line, he was taking a break, so stood there for about 15 minutes. I took a break, and you can't really see it because he signed it in gold, but it's right, it's right across there. No pictures. I got Anthony Daniels signed C3PO card, and then my next one was uh, uh, David Prowse. And I took it to have him sign it. And he signed it. David Prowse is Darth Vader. If you can see it right across the black. It says David Prowse is Darth Vader. Because he said uh, George Lucas threw a fit about it. But there's David Prowse signing my card. <laughs> so that's my, uh, that's my big huge haul. Like I said, I didn't have much money in them. I do what I want with it. I enjoy it. Preserving it. I like to get acrylic cases for all of them. My signed. But one step at a time. So. Hope you've enjoyed. I say I have other cards. I wanted to get. Oh well here. I can just show you like this. I wanted to get Wicket. I got me a Wicket. And I got a Yoda, uh, Yoda. It's on an Empire card. And I always like the uh, the uh, Royal Guard. And I got me a Return of the Jedi Royal Guard. And then I got me a card of General Maydeen. And I was gonna. The actor was supposed to be making an appearance, but I don't know if I canceled or if he canceled. But it didn't end up getting signed. And then. Appears like I got Paul Blake. It's on a vintage collection, and there's a uh, Julian Glover. I got a ATAT -AT Commander card. Had him sign that. Then there in the corner is a Bib Fortuna. It's a loose. The figure's complete, but it's been opened, and I had that actor sign it. I was like, that'll work. Then there's up there is like Admiral Akbar signed and Nidnub signed. I can't remember. I think that's it. I can't see from down here. But oh and uh new Chewbacca. That new kid. I have him sign a uh, solo Chewbacca card. That's my collection. All my figures dominoed whenever I started pulling them down. So I hope you enjoyed this video, John Lab Pulse. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment. Thank you. I'll reply.